Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we'll be working here on a Dodge Journey. And if you have a Dodge Journey from 2009 to 2019 or Fiat Fremont, it's known as Fiat in, uh, uh, in uh, Europe, we'll show you guys how to compress rear, rear brake caliper piston. Now, <coughs> what is happening here, we'll be putting new brakes. When you put new brakes, you know, you have to uh, compress your caliper piston all the way in because otherwise, okay, your uh, new uh, your caliper will not fit over the new brakes and that's what we'll be doing today in the meantime guys we'll have more than 200 videos on the dot journey so please guys subscribe to the channel our mission at the shop is to teach you how to fix your car and save you as much money as we can all we need in return subscribe and a like so let's start on this thing now so this is the tool that we'll be using you can find it listed in the description of the video below <clears throat> we need to go ahead and now we're on the left hand side of the vehicle okay this is the left hand side of the vehicle so we will need to use okay left hand side caliper to okay this one right here after that you can see the caliper has uh, two spots okay and <coughs> two teeth like that are supposed to go in the caliper but this one is too small so we need to find a fitting that is going to fit there so We'll just get one manually, install it and see, okay, this thing fits great, amazing. So what you want to do, okay, you want to uh, get a little bit of lubricating spray, we'll be using Interphone here, okay, and we're just going to apply a little bit to the seal here, okay, and we'll wipe all the dust off of it, so let's wipe with a, uh, with a, with a towel quick, that way that dust will not go in the, in the seal, okay, because the seal will compress all the way. We want to make sure that it's clean, otherwise that dust can eat your seal and you will develop a leak. And on some vehicles, not all, okay, you can use that plate here. And uh, this plate, it's going actually to relieve, uh, to create that back pressure so you don't have to push in so much. Okay, so let's see if that's going to make things a little bit easier. Okay, so we're again going to get this one tight like that. And now we'll start turning to the right. Okay, and it's going to compress it in, which is really, really easy. Okay, check it out. So much easier that way. And you can see the piston goes in all the way. Okay, this is it, right there. Now all we have to do, go get it loose. And you can see ours work great. I forgot to mention that uh, on, uh, on the, uh, actually on the this vehicle we had to use the right hand side instead of the left hand side we switched because it's clockwise okay some are counter clockwise this one is going clockwise so we had to use the right hand side and uh, you can see the caliper piston is all the way in that's how you guys compress the piston thank you for watching please subscribe and see you guys next time